Bats and welcome to my channel. I am the Honey Bat if you are just joining us. Today I have a Potterhead's dream. We are going to be opening a bunch of Harry Potter things. We have the Harry Potter Mystery Pocket Pop keychains and we also have some of the Collector's Keychains Series 1. So a quick look at what all we can get. I'm most excited for the Snitch or the Little Potion, but I really like all of them. Total Potterhead at heart. And for these, which we're going to start with, we can get all of these awesome characters. I would really like to see Hermione and possibly the Dementor over here. I think that's what he is. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with our first one. We are starting off with an amazing figure. This is Luna Lovegood. She is, of course, a friend to our heroes. She's holding her wand, and she has some really nice earrings on. I'm sure they keep away something. She is a great way to start our video. Let's go on to the next one and see who else we can find. Speaking of our heroes, here is Harry Potter in his Gryffindor outfit. He's wearing his signature glasses, and you can barely make out his little lightning bolt scar up there on his forehead. He is also holding his wand. I really hope they all are. Our third one of these mystery pops. Is a different Harry Potter figure, so we almost had a duplicate. He is not holding his wand, and he is in his robe with their little sweater vests. Again, you can see his scar. And the last one of our mystery pops for now. Let's see if we can't get a Hermione. This is one that I really wanted to see. I'm pretty sure that this is a Dementor, which is okay because this is actually how my dog got her name. Her name is Patronus. So he looks even scarier as a toy than they do in the movie. Like they even have all their ribs and stuff showing. In the movie they're just kind of like flowing cape people. We are going to go ahead and move on to the collector's key rings. Looking at the back again, I think I'd really like to see Dobby. I know there's a school of debate whether it's Dobby or Dobie, but according to the house elf himself, it is Dobby. So let's hope we get him today. These do not have tear strips, so I'm just going to cut one of the corners. Oh, we got him on the first try. So this is Dobby. He is dressed in his house elf gear with no socks on. It comes with this little Harry Potter charm on it as well with the golden snitch. There's nothing on the back. So here he looks kind of sad. He hasn't been freed yet, but that's okay. It's coming soon. He's got his hands behind his back, and there is so much etching on here that he really comes to life. There are 10 of these to collect, and we only have seven, so we are not going to get a full set today, but that is okay. I would really like to see the Hogwarts Express, I think, now. The next best thing, I guess, would be a train ticket. So it has the same charm here. And this is our pass, so London to Hogwarts. And this ticket will get us to platform nine and three quarters. Pack number three. This is a big one. We got Hagrid's Book of Monsters. So um, I definitely don't want this going underneath my bed. We're just going to stroke its spine to keep it nice for the camera. It has the little eyeballs on top and the little like spider pieces. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, but uh, it's definitely a monster. So I'm wondering if this is exclusive A, just as a rectangle instead of having all the little pieces on the side, which would be okay because in the movie it does have all that stuff, but I think this is much easier to make. So we are four packs in, and we've already found both exclusives, if we are right about the Book of Monsters. So here we have what looks like a broom handle. It is not a broom. This is Harry Potter's wand. 
So it's got all the same detail that it does in the movie. It even has little dips in here which fit perfectly in your fingers. So let's see if it works. Wingardium Leviosa. Close enough. This is pack number five. So we have our first duplicate. It's funny that Harry's wand also brought us Harry's wand. We have two more and this one is the biggest bag yet. And I think there's a good reason for that. This is Harry's owl head wig, a beautiful snowy owl. It's a little hard to see because it's white on white, but they actually etched in feather detail around his face and on his belly and on his back. This is our last pack for this video. There are still five that we need. So here's hoping that it's one of them. And we got the Golden Snitch. What a great way to end this video because as we all know, the Golden Snitch is what calls the end to every Quidditch match. Here is a look at all of the amazing things that we found in our Harry Potter blind bags today. What is your favorite? Please leave them down below. I think I'm going to have to go with the Book of Monsters today, just because I think that's something we don't see a lot, and I really like that book in the movies. Not to mention, if it was a real book, I would totally be the one to read it. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye for now.